Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in random board exam problem. So this is board exam problem number 33. So if you're new to this channel guys, just click the subscribe button and then your notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future educational videos such as this video. Here is our problem guys. Now, So what is the area bounded by the curves? Y is equal to 8 minus x squared and y equals negative 2 plus x squared. So we're going to solve this uh, using your calculator and of course uh, using the manual method. So this is part of integral calculus and this is area by integration so first step guys is kailangan nating i-plot itong mga parabola natin no but sa board exam pa rin namang diretso na kung na-imagine niyo agad yung figure no need to draw but after uh, going to start from the basic you need to uh, plot these parabolas okay so first parabola you have here y equals 8 minus x squared so, this can be expressed in terms of x squared equals, you have your negative y plus 8. So, transpose lang yung mga variable so that you have this form. And then, it becomes x squared equals yung negative, i-factor out natin, maging negative y minus 8. So, that is in the parentheses, sa loob siya ng parentheses, kaya naging negative siya uh, kasi naglagay tayo ng parentheses. So, that's the grouping. And of course, negative times negative, that is positive 8. Okay? So, uh, using this form, you can actually see the vertex natin dito, guys, is at, for x, that is 0. So, ang vertex natin dito is at 0 and 8. Okay? So, dapat ganito yung form niya, no? So, that is in the form uh, y minus k. So, we're in yung k natin, di ba? If you can recall sa ating analytic geometry, so, that is x minus h, quantity squared, uh, equals y minus k. So, ang k natin, that is the coordinate of your vertex sa y-axis. And then, yung h natin, that is for the x-axis or x-coordinate. So, in this case, 0, wala kasing uh, variable or, so, wala kasing constant dun kay x squared. So, 0 yung uh, coordinate ng vertex niya sa x-axis dito. So, you have here minus 8. So, ang form niya kasi is y minus k, guys. So, therefore, you just extract yung 8 dito. So, not negative, guys. No? Huwag negative, uh, positive 8 yan. Kasi ang form natin, again, that is y minus k. Where in yung k, which is in this case, 8 is your y coordinate of the vertex in this equation. Okay? So, parabolic siya kasi this is in the second order equation. So, since negative ito guys, so this is concave uh, downward. Okay? So kapag nakatinuro ko na to guys no, sa mga last videos natin way back last year pa, um, kapag parabola, kapag naka-square yung x, ibig sabihin nakaharap yung vertex mo sa x-axis, therefore, it's either upward or downward lang. So ano yung mag-decide kung upward or downward? The sign of y here. So in this case, negative siya. So, concave downward to. So, later we will plot that. Okay, hanapin muna natin yung, uh, of course, pag plinat natin siya, ganito siya, no? So, this is 0, 8, the vertex, and then, so you'll get this point of intersection dito sa x-axis if you let here uh, y is 0. So, divide in this x-axis, 0 yung y dyan. So, para makuha mo yung negative 8, uh, negative 2.828 and 2.828 positive. So, you just let here at y equals 0. So, you have here um, 0 equals 8 minus x squared. So, we have here uh, x squared equals 8. So, therefore, so that's the square root of 8. So, that's just square root of 4 times 2. Square root of 4, so 2 siya. So, 2 square root of 2. Plus or minus 2, guys. Okay? So, plus or minus, uh, plus or minus square root of 8. Okay? So, in this case, 
ang gawin natin, uh, plot lang natin, ayan. So, 2 square root of 2 is just 2.828. So, negative dito sa kabila. And then, we will also plot this second parabola. So, para mahanap natin yung area bounded. Okay? So, here you have y equals negative 2 plus x squared. So, same uh, process. So, we have here x squared equals y plus 2. Okay? So, algebra. And then, you have your x squared equals y minus negative 2. So, negative times negative positive. Kasi dapat yung form niya is y minus k. So, in this case, ang vertex natin is at 0, negative 2. Okay? So, if we let y again as 0, you will get the intersection. Okay? At the x uh, axis. So, we have here, at y is 0, you have uh, x squared equals 2. As you can see here, kapag 0 to, so x squared equals 2. So, therefore, x equals plus or minus square root of 2. Okay? So, that's just 1.4 something. Okay? So, pag tinat natin, concave upward siya, guys. Kasi, ito ay positive, as you can see here. Okay? So, 1.414 yung intersect niya dito sa x-axis. Uh, and then, you have here, it's intersection nung dalawang curve. Uh, okay, ano yung intersection ng dalawang curve? So, we can solve for that uh, if we equate those two equations. No? For example, uh, equate natin yung my equation, solve natin simultaneously. So, that we will get the uh, uh, x and y intercept of that uh, point of intersection ng dalawang curve natin. So, so we have here y equals 8 minus x squared and y equals negative 2 x squared. So if we equate y here, we equate natin sila, naging 8 minus x squared uh, equals negative 2 plus x squared. Solving that equation simultaneously, we have so 2 x squared, add natin, so, di pa sa kabila, mayiging positive x squared. So, x squared plus x squared to x squared. And then, you have here equals 8 plus 2. So, transpose natin. So, that's 10. And then, we have uh, divide by 2 both sides becomes x squared equals 5. So, x is plus or minus square root of 5. So, square root of 5 is just 2.36. So, negative sa kabila and then positive sa kabila. So, how about uh, yung y-intercept. So, we can get that y-intercept if you substitute yung square root of 5 in either of those two equations. So, for example, dito ka, uh, for example, ito yung ginamit mo. So, equation 1, the, yung red curve natin. So, y minus, uh, sorry, y equals 8 minus x squared. Ano yung x natin? Square root of 5 squared so, you have y equals 8 minus 5. So, y equals 3. So, nasa 3 yung uh, intersection nila. So, ayun. Kapag nag-graph na natin, we will now solve for the area. So, basically, we're going to get the area under that intersection. Okay? Under that uh, bounded uh, area. Okay? So, this is yung area na hahanapin natin. Ayan. So, i-redraw natin yung figure. And then, uh, sa integral, syempre, kuha tayo ng strip that will touch both sides of the, or both curves. So, ayan. So, ang ginawa natin, uh, gawa ka ng differential strip na vertical so that both ends of that strip will touch uh, both curves. So, I have a more detailed uh, video about this. So, since this is a board exam approach problem, so we will... Uh, use the calculator later on and then we're going to solve this, of course, manually pa rin. Okay? So, vertical strip and then, of course, vertical strip siya. Yung length niyan, yung mahaba na side. So, that is just your, syempre nasa y-axis siya. So, change of y yan. Okay? So, in my previous video, ang change of y na ginagamit ko is y upper minus y lower. Okay? And then, of course, yung thickness ng differential strip natin is, that is dx. Okay, kasi nasa x-axis siya. Okay? 
So, after that, ang differential strip natin, may differential area siya. So, differential area of the strip is just equal to length times width. So, ano yung length natin? Change of y. And then, width natin, or yung thickness is dx. Now, remember that integral is just a word for summation. Okay? If you get the integral of both sides, basically, you add up every strip on that uh, bounded area to get the uh, whole area. Okay? So, differential area uh, is the area of the strip. Okay? So, integral of differential area will be the area of the whole figure. So, area equals integral of, so this is y upper minus y lower. So, yung y upper natin will correspond to the uh, y equation of the upper curve. So, that's the red curve here. So, ano yung equation natin for that? So, you have y minus x squared. Uh, y equals 8 minus x squared. So, y upper natin is... Uh, 8 minus x squared, and then yung y lower natin is yung, you can see here, y lower is the uh, area. So, y lower is the equation of that green curve, which is y equals negative 2 plus x squared. Okay, so lalagay lang natin yan dito sa equation natin. And uh, by the way, kapag dx ka, syempre yung limit mo is from x1 to x2. So, yung boundaries natin. In this case, Ang boundary natin is from negative 2.236 to 2.236. Okay, so that's the boundary of your uh, area. So, mas maganda ang gawin natin is that, gawin nating uh, sakto siya, no? negative square root of 5. Para uh, exacto rin yung ibigay sa atin ng calculator. So, ito, uh, square root of 5. So, square root of 5 is 2.236. Okay, and then yung y upper, that is 8 minus x squared, minus y lower, that is negative 2 plus x squared. Okay? So, that is dx. So, simplify lang natin. So, negative square root of 5, square root of 5, ito, magiging 8 minus x squared. So, negative times negative, positive 2. Then, we have here uh, minus x squared. So, that is dx. Simplify pa natin. Ayan. Papi lang. So, 8 plus 2, 10. So, 10 minus 2x squared. So, dx. So, integrate lang natin. So, integral of 10 dx. So, that is 10x. Minus, power rule natin to guys. So, 2x cubed over 3. So, that's from negative square root of 5. 2 square root of 5. So, apply lang natin yung limits. So, 10. So, upper limit. Okay. Minus 2. So, upper limit pa rin. Cube over 3. Minus the lower limit. So, subject lang natin yung lower limit. So, negative square root of 5. Minus 2. Negative square root of 5. Cube over 3. So, Ever the value for this, yun na yung answer natin. So, let's use your calculator to solve that. So, that is, so, 10 uh, square root of 5. Okay, minus fraction natin, 2, and then we have square root of 5. That is cube. And then over 3. And then minus... Okay, so ito, equals na lang muna natin. And then minus, okay, that is parenthesis. So, 10 square root of, uh, okay, negative square root of 5 yun. So, times negative square root of 5. Okay. Minus, fraction, you have here 2. And then we have negative Square root of 5. Okay, so that is cube over 3. And then parentheses. So, I check lang and then just press equal. So, you have this value. So, 40 square root of 5 over 3. So, SD lang para makuha yung exact value. 29.81 
square units. So 29.81 square units. So kung lumabas ito guys sa board exam, at least you already know how to solve this problem. For example, you don't have, for example, in the board exam, you don't have to solve this uh, manually, but rather you can just input directly this equation here. Pwede mong ilagay directly yung integral natin. So, sa civil engineering, pwede na sa kanila yung 570S, but yung transparent. So, we're just waiting for the uh, model na gagawin ng Casio para magkaroon ng transparent na 570. Kasi for me, uh, honestly, mas maganda pa rin talaga yung Casio 570 para gamitin sa board exam. Mas marami siyang feature and mas madali siyang gamitin para sa akin. Ayan. So, ayun. So, for this, just input na lang, no? So, 8 minus x squared. So, by the way, ito yung integral sa baba ng alpha. You're going to get derivative, just shift integral. We'll give you the derivative. So, since integral to, lagay natin integral. So, 8 minus alpha x squared. So, minus, don't forget to put groupings kasi importante siya. So, negative 2 plus x squared. Okay, and then just input the limits. Limit natin, negative square root of 5 to square root of 5. So, this should give you the same answer. So, 40 square root of 5 over 3. So, basically, ito siya, no? Uh, 29.81. So, it doesn't give you the fraction value, but rather, it gives you the decimal form of that value. Okay, so 29.81. Okay, so di niya binigay yung fraction. So this is now the final answer for this problem. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from this, guys. Now, if you want to know more about this topic, so I discussed the concepts here step by step dun sa aking uh, integral calculus playlist, specifically yung area by integration na uh, video. Okay, so you can check that out and then you can also watch my other videos here sa aking YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching this video and again if you're new to this channel, click lang guys yung subscribe button para notified kayo sa mga gantong video in the future. Thank you again guys for watching this video and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.